Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between electro discharge machining and electrochemical machining. Electro discharge machining is one thermal energy based process where material is removed by localized melting and vaporization. Intense heat is generated by means of electric sparks. Electrochemical machining is one electrochemical energy-based non-traditional machining process where material is removed by ionic dissolution following the principles of Faraday's law. So, let's look into the basic differences between electro-discharge machining and electrochemical machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1. Electro-discharge machining is thermal energy-based non-traditional machining process, whereas, Electrochemical machining is electrical energy based non traditional machining process. Number 2 In electro discharge machining, material removal takes place by melting and vaporization, or spark erosion. It is one volume removal process, whereas, in electrochemical machining, material is removed by controlled electrochemical dissolution of work metal, anode. Material removal takes place in the form of ions, instead of direct volume removal. Number 3. Owing to electric spark, significant heat is generated in electro discharge machining process. The localized temperature reaches as high as 10,000 degrees Celsius, whereas, no heat generation takes place in electrochemical machining. Number 4. An appropriate dielectric fluid, such as kerosene, paraffin, deionized water, is used in electro discharge machining to assist spark generation, whereas, a suitable electrolyte such as sodium chloride and sodium nitrate, is applied in electrochemical machining to assist flow of ions between two electrodes. Number 5. During electro discharge machining operation, electrode material is also removed gradually along with workpiece material. However, electrode material removal rate is much lower than work material removal rate, whereas, electrode does not suffer anywhere during electrochemical machining process. Same electrode can be used repeatedly for a longer duration. Accordingly, electrode life is higher. And, difference number 6, electro discharge machining process typically requires high potential difference, 50 to 400 volt, and moderate current, of 100 to 200 amperes, whereas, electrochemical machining process requires moderate voltage, less than 50 volts, but very high current, greater than 1000 amperes.